Welcome back to Phenomic Crossover. I hope you enjoyed that advice and those, you know, to learn about 25 for Life and also what their experiences are in the Filipino basketball community. Now we want to know what their opinions are about the current NBA season. Marky Mark, I'll, t I'll take it over to you. All right, let's start with uh, maybe the biggest thing that everyone's been asking about. What's going on with the Cavs? Like, should we worried about them? You know, is this permanent? Is this temporary? Because they've lost four straight games right now. They're in the bottom in defensive rating and efficiency. They've lost to teams like the Pacers, Knicks, the Nets, Knicks. the Magic. Yeah, Brooklyn, yeah. So w w what's your take on the Cavs right now? Mm. Uh, I don't think they're actually going to start trying until Isaiah <laughs> Thomas comes back. Trying, so, okay. Uh, I mean, I, trying, or I don't <gasps> think they'll actually look like the team they're going to be in the playoffs mm -hmm. until they actually have uh, that key piece. Hopefully, comes back healthy. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, I think they're just going to essentially coast or kind of uh, be around 500, a little bit more, uh, or a little bit higher than that. Uh, but they'll really pick it up when when. Uh, IT comes back. Mm -hmm. How about? Yeah, I'm not worried about them at all. I think they'll pick it up after LeBron takes another vacation. <laughs> he goes down <laughs> yeah, south. Weeks, yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think Rest. it's weird that their defense is really struggling right now because I think they're better defensively. You know, with Crowder, even with another athlete, athlete like Green. Mm -hmm. But I think they're just looking for their chemistry. They're just getting to know each other, and I think LeBron's just pacing himself. But mm -hmm. I mean, they are in the East, so. Yeah. Sure. John? Yeah, I also agree. I think that. You know, they lost Kyrie, um, they got Derrick Rose and, and IT were both injured, you know, and those, a PG is a main, one of the main pieces to their, a team, so they haven't had a lot of time to play together, um, and like they said, like, they know, they, they know what to do, they've been there, they've done that, so they don't got to turn it on yet, it's only about seven games, and LeBron knows what he's doing. I still think they're the best team in the East. It is a lot of ugly basketball, though. Mm -hmm. Very <laughs> ugly. So we'll just have to wait till, like, the, but do you feel like... The age, like they're one of the oldest teams in the league. Do you feel like that's gonna catch up on to them? Because now teams are strategizing in terms of how they play against the Cavs now, just to keep running them to the ground. So because if you think about it, most of their players are older. Most of their players are in their, they're gonna pass their prime or past 30. So you should be worried about if you face you know, a team like Cavs or like you know the Warriors or the Bucks, where they would run them to the ground. Should be worried about that because of their age. Well, uh, probably what the regular season does is going to set them up in terms of seeding <coughs> for the playoffs. So, but a lot of people tend to forget that a lot of teams, the way that the schedule is set up in the playoffs, they actually have more rest mm -hmm. in, in the playoffs than they do in the, during the regular season. Mm -hmm. So they'll probably finish maybe like four or three seed, if that, uh, depending on, again, when they start carrying. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the playoffs, when you have so much rest, it, it doesn't, I, I don't think it actually, I mean, didn't hinder them last year and they're almost kind of like the same way mm -hmm. in terms of like um, age-wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're just pacing themselves, really. Mm -hmm. For the regular season, they're just pacing themselves. And I really think they're deeper this year. Mm -hmm. I think th they don't have the star of, of Kyrie, but I think they've, they're a lot deeper. Mm -hmm. and, like, like he said, Derek Ro you got Derek Rose in IT. Like mm -hmm. I, you got Green and Crowder. You've got a lot of guys. D -Wade is and nice. D Wade, my bad, <laughs> my bad. Nice. D Wade can still give you his 20 minutes a game. Yeah, yeah. they're absolutely deeper. Mm -hmm. they're, they're they're solid. Mm -hmm. They'll be fine. How about our last topic? Do you want to? Um, let's talk about rookies. Let's talk about who's. Uh, Who's I guess who's your pick? Most, who's yeah. impressed you the most? And who, if you placed your bet on what rookie would you, you know, I guess one on your team or just who would you rather be or who would you choose as rookie of the year maybe? Uh, ben Simmons, mm -hmm. uh, no doubt. Uh, I think what he's able to contribute to a team is, is multifaceted mm -hmm. uh, and he's doing it all without a uh, consistent jumper. So it's almost like uh, what Giannis is right now in terms of like, uh, he he's, doesn't have that consistent jumper yet, but he's still able to, to um, affect the game in a lot of ways. And it also helps that uh, Simmons has uh, Embiid there to help finish and, mm, yeah. and kind of uh, you know, carry the load with him. Um, I think Philly's going to be a solid team. I don't know about what, what Fultz is going to look like. Uh, I, I know at the beginning of the season he didn't look great, especially because no. it he's is older. a solid rookie class and he mm. was... Um, really look pretty flat. Obviously, mm. he has a shoulder issue, but I think Simmons is um, uh, solid. Oh, solid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Simmons, but um, I'm really liking Tatum. It's mm. really surprising me how Same. NBA ready his game already yeah. is. Mm -hmm. um, not only that, but he's playing with a team that he actually fits in with, yeah. you know, with Kyrie running the point, you've got Jalen Brown on the wing, and he can defend too, so mm -hmm. 
-hmm. He's looking pretty good He's right now. Good. Tatum's your pick, yeah. yeah. John? Uh, I like I like Simmons as well. Yeah. He's a he's a beast. And he's it's pretty polished. And I like you know he's all round. He, he does it all. So yeah. I think he's a good position in Philly where they're all young guys where you know they're yeah. gonna grow kind of like how the Thunder did with Westbrook and, and <coughs> Durant and Harden back in the day. So yeah. I think they they're set up for a good couple of years and they'll grow together. Um, after that, I like Fox from mm. Sacramento, the yeah, lefty. He's yeah. he's very quick mm -hmm. and ball's nice. You know, besides all the hype, like he knows how to play. Yeah. He, he he he's a good point guard and he does it all as well. I think he's in a good free flowing system where outlet pass. He just outlets. Right, and he's, just he's, he's, he's very much like Jason Kidd, I think. Yeah. So he, he's yeah, like I think we should take shots. out the Magic Johnson height. I think he's more like Jason Kidd, and yep. I think Simmons is probably the closer. To Magic, Magic Johnson, yep. the way he yep. plays too. That's you know. Yeah, because Simmons is, uh, I think, number five or number six in yeah. assists already in, in yeah. the league. So, and yeah. he's just first year. To think about it. Like. You know, has ball. I feel like his dad is really making him. point guards come at him, but yeah. that makes yeah. him better. Like exactly. people are want to play ball and yeah. make him look bad, and he's you know holding he's his holding own. Yeah. So yeah. that. I think it, it's harder for him, and yep. he's handling it well. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think he's going to be a star in the league. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Are you guys surprised of how, like, a lot of these, it, it was such a deep class that most of them are actually doing solid or, like, actually pretty much, you know, pretty mature in their game because you've spoken about yeah. these three players, but then a lot of other players, too, are pretty, you know, NBA-ready. Like, I've watched, like, Laurie Markin and playing well. I've watched uh, Dennis Smith, it was Kuzma. So a lot of these like class are just like, you know, either mature enough or just NBA. Are you guys surprised about that? Uh, yeah. I mean, it, you could even go like the two guys <coughs> in the second round. I think uh, Kuzma, yeah. uh, I think Jordan Bell was also picked uh, very Bell. late as well. And they're getting yeah. a legit playing time and, yeah. and being um, real good contributors to their team. So yeah, uh, yeah this this class is, is solid. I mean, there's been a couple. Crappy classes the in the past, past couple years, years. It's only like one yep. or two players that are yeah. legit, and then the rest are just like. You know. This one you can go down like Donovan Mitchell from Utah, is solid yeah, too. I'm watching him too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's 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 a good class. It looks like, anyways. I mean, what we're eight games in or something. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. a lot of NBA games to go still. Yeah. yeah. Kuzma is a great surprise. I love Kuzma. Yeah, the preseason, he was just even like, in the summer league, he 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 played really well. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't teach height. He's strong. He's athletic. Yeah. He's your typical 6'10 guys now that can shoot threes, mm -hmm. but he, he's got the strength to go down low and the athleticism to run up and down the floor. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you guys are to decide now, quick, who was your pick for the rookie of the year after watching eight games? Who was your pick? Eight games. <laughs> Simmons. Simmons. I like Tatum. Tatum. Simmons. 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 Yeah. yeah. I like Simmons too. What's yours? It's Simmons now. Yeah, yeah. After that, I was like, I was Dennis Smith, and then I watched him. I was like, oh, never mind. Well, Simmons might end up being, well, you should end up being an awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, if especially. they're waiting, like right now. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, that went by so fast. Um, uh, we have to end, of the sh end the show. But is there anything that you'd like to shout out? Anyone that you'd like to shout out? Uh, teammates, I don't know, players, I don't know. Up Family, to you. <laughs> your kid, yeah, <laughs> they're watching. I uh, just want to thank you guys for having us. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've saw, I saw a couple shows. Uh, I thought it was interesting. I'm glad you guys are, are, are making this a regular thing. You guys are, you guys... But 40 episodes mm -hmm. deep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, congratulations on that. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. Uh, just wanted to shout out all your viewers, and I hope uh, you can, you know, snowball this into, into more viewership and, uh, you know, I guess more interesting content. Thank you. Uh, Anyone you'd like to shout out? Like he said, you know, shout out to you guys for, for what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. um, what they were saying was what the kids need today is some exposure, mm -hmm. and you guys are giving it to them, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. John? Yeah, props to you guys. I wish I had this. <laughs> I wish I had this when I was growing up. Yeah. Uh, but you know, this is a great avenue and a channel for the Filipino community. That's you know really really big in Toronto, and yeah. uh, I think you guys are doing doing big things. 